1.75 working on a disassembly this is a eight-year-old system it actually is still working fine and uh, but it's not even putting a dent into the consumption on this in this home so I'm targeting 4,000 kilowatts per month and this is just not putting it out only I've got eight kilowatts of solar so we're going to about 33 kilowatts of solar and two 15k solar arcs so we are upgrading it um so it'll be nice to have a stacked 15k in here i've got 14 foot of wall space so we've redesigned this whole thing this cabinet's coming out of here and the customer has another location uh, to put this on a smaller a cabin smaller home that he owns so it's not going to be wasted we're just going to repurpose it so 215k is going in this space and we're in the process of shutting down the array so we're going to shut that down we got no no flashing lights on the on when it's flashing that's when i know that they're connected so just keep them shut down and then we're going to get in here and start disconnecting and shutting down the house in order to do that i'm sorry about the noise i'm going to make sure that we don't shut down their panel so we've got grid in and grid out um and so i'm gonna we might put a junction box in the ceiling just to tie them together um so we can disassemble dismantle this system all right this is the beginning of the disarray i'm calling this the disarray let's go see what we got out here for an array so here's the uh, ground mount it's a Schleder ground mount they went out of business and I was gonna I would have rebuilt it with the new panels on here but uh, it's just not gonna work I have no access to clamps mids ends any wire management for the Schleder ground mount so we're gonna take this all apart Put it in a little metal building, store it, and I'm probably going to cut the posts off at ground level because they're in a tremendous amount of concrete. Thankfully, the Sinclair is not cantilevered like this, so the posts are going to go here, so I should miss all the concrete. And then their other ground mount is going to go down on the other side of this wood boiler. 42 panels down there, 32 here. So they're used to having the array here, but this way the, the arrays and everything will look consistent. All right, let's get to it. All right, part of the disarray of this array is a lot of corrosion and damage. So we're we're just cutting these MC4s off and and Wes is well on his way to getting them all cut off. Okay. Decision has been made. All right, last panel coming off on the on the array. Had to cut all the MC4s off. It's just what happens. We can fix it though. The panels are still good. Nothing's broken. But the Schleder ground mount is being sacrificed. Rail's coming off. Truss is next. These were great ground mounts. They really were. And we used to add them to cart. Oh, look at that. He must have already loosened that up. Oh no. Um, the wedges kind of tighten thing up they were good you could add them okay shoo i was like <laughs> making me nervous but um they went away i guess they sold them too cheap they were like 650 dollars for a 12 panel ground mount add to cart it was amazing I haven't been able to see what Willis has been up to, but Willis and Wes are doing the disarray in here, taking everything apart. All good working Schneider systems. Ooh, that's kind of castings. dirty. Worm castings? Yeah, look at the yeah, they, it sucked all the drive winds up into that thing. Oh, wow. So you learn a lot about solar systems uh, eight years later. These are newer batteries and they're really nice, simplify, but they're not part of the plan. We're gonna have to come up with a plan for them. And then this cabinet's coming out of here. Sorry guys heavy duty battery cap it's just not going to work for what we want to do so all right a rainy day but a productive day We've got our this is the real estate i get to work with for putting up two 15ks and a bypass and we went ahead today and ran 
uh, two runs, about 100, well, it's 175 feet each of this 4 aught SCR cable. So one will be the grid, labeled up as grid, and the other one will be the load. Our solar is actually going to come in from outside into that box and down. So I'm going to drop solar, these two AC feeds into the into a gutter. We're going to have our battery cabinets over here to the left. So it'll be two stacks of batteries, two 15Ks, gutters, the usual. And then, um, yeah, so we, thankfully for drop ceilings, we were able to get, it's always fun. Glad we had extra hands today. So we took our, took the SCR cable through here, strapped it up where we could careful and gingerly around the plumbing and then we're feeding the mechanical room over here and uh, there's two panels so the Schneider used to feed this this was a backup panel and now we're totally doing everything well different we're gonna run the whole house so we'll be powering those panels and then there's a panel the main panel in the house is upstairs and then we got to get outside here with this uh, four aught and uh, so we're starting to do, I think we're pretty much done cleaning up. Now it's time to rebuild. This was a temporary junction box to get this panel back on, power on. But we're going to, now I think we're done with demo. It's time to start building. So...